Oh, there you are. I'm glad you could come in and see the what I call the lab, where the magic happens, where the sermons are made, and where I study God's Word and try to hear His voice. And uh, this summer, we're going to be in our series, The Summer of Love, we're going to be looking at three short books, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. And what I want to share with you today is some of the things that I do that you can do, and I'll show you the resources I use, but things that you can do to stay connected with one another uh, this summer as we scatter, but also that, that you can use to hear God's voice through the Bible. And that's the key. And these things aren't, aren't complicated and, and anybody can do them. So what I want you to do is kind of lean in here, watch how it happens. And um, first of all, I've got some colored pens in, uh, that, you, that uh, you'll understand what those are about when we get to the journal and also have a Summer of Love study guide. And some of what I'm going to talk about is in the study guide. So, you get a journal, and the journal is the, the Bible, the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John in English Standard Version. So there's a page with a scripture, and then there's open pages for journaling. And we want you to use this as a tool, and here's some techniques, and here's where the, the colored pencils come in. And we've got this in your study guide. We want you, first of all, to start off, read 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John in one sitting. That's the 30,000 foot flyover. Just make, what, are the, what do you observe seeing it all connected together? Then, each week, each Sunday, we're going to teach on a small part of that. So what you want you to do each week is, before the sermon, read that scripture. Obviously, you couldn't do it with this first one. But read that section of scripture, and we've got those marked in your study guide, which ones are happening each week as we go slowly through these three books. And then we want you looking for four different words every week. Love, abide, light, and fellowship. And all of these are in your, in your study guide. And what we want you, here's how we want you to do, and here's where the colored pencils come in. We want you to mark or underline or a symbol or whatever every time you see any of those words, like this first section, you're, you're going to be looking at my journal. You can see I found a, another word, manifest, that was used twice, so I just kind of used, I added that word in black, and the same color that I underline with, I'm, I'm writing what I hear John trying to teach me about manifest. Now to our keywords. I picked the, the color red, a red pen. So if you can see, I underlined the word light three times in this first section, one through, or one, chapter one, verse one through seven. There are three times when light is used. I used red, and then I used the same color red to make a list. And I write everything that John is trying to teach me about God is light. And there's something powerful about putting in a list so that it stands out to you. Then there are a couple of three different, no, four different times the word fellowship is used. And so I picked purple for the word fellowship. So the same color that I underlined fellowship with, I wrote the word in my journals page. And then I wrote a list of things that John is trying to teach me and God is trying to speak to me about fellowship. And that's kind of how the journal, so each week we want you to, to do that, um, and you can do that wherever you are, wherever you're traveling or even if you're, you're at home. Uh, and you can pick whatever color you want. Here's some other tools that I use. You may be uh, using your own um, paper Bible. If the case in the back of most Bibles, there are helps. So there are, there's a concordance that's the, the, that lists all the different words, and so you can you can use that to help you understand what those words mean and, and how they're used in Scripture. And I've got my phone and my laptop because also there's a great tool called BibleGateway.com. We're going to show you how, what this looks like. I encourage you just to get on there and play and, and, and learn how it works. But you can search different words, different Scriptures, and you can put it in different, in different translations. You can even find out what the original language, which in the New Testament it would be Greek, what the word meant literally in the, the original language. You can do all of that through Bible Gateway. So I encourage you just to get on and play around with that. But these are the tools that I use. And you can use these wherever you are. So when we scatter this summer, 
we can stay connected and unified because we're learning the same thing. We're, we're grappling with the same scriptures. What, what John is trying to say to these churches in Turkey back then. But also, we go to spread the love and make the kingdom a present for everybody that we meet. So we're going to spread the kingdom and the, the love of Jesus, but we're also staying connected. That's the summer of love, unity, and fellowship. So I hope that you will dive into all of this and uh, really be a part of what's going on. Hey, thanks for coming into the lab today.